member from Woodstock. Madam Speaker, thank you. Fear, uncertainty, and doubt, three very motivating factors. S37 does help address the doubt and the fear of individuals that may be exposed to toxic chemicals. Wind and solar energy are now cheaper than polluting oil, gas, and coal of yesterday. If we stop wasting millions in tax money, giving gas to oil and gas CEOs, we can halt climate change and create tens of millions of jobs by upgrading America's energy infrastructure. We can enter observation and help and bring forth and encourage people to participate in democracy in a productive way that respects the rules of the House and all points of view. The question before us is, shall Bill S-37, an act relating to medical monitoring, the amendment is offered by the member from St. Johnsbury. This is a climate emergency and must be treated as such. We ask that all members of the legislature Across technological, economic, and social factors, 
with us if you're looking for support directly from us, um, but we really appreciate those couple of you who have stayed to participate in the dialogue, Thanks, and we have even more to say. The time to address climate change is running out. We have been given a concerted estimate of the <coughs> years before the effects are irreversible. This is a conservative estimate. We don't really know what will happen when the Arctic ice melts and the permafrost begins to release methane. Scientists have predictions and none of them are good. The time to act is now. The state has set goals to be 50% below 1990s emissions levels by 2028. Currently, we are 16% above that level. What is your plan to get down to 50% and then down to zero? So we're going to ask the media to leave again? We're, we're asking you to leave. I don't think the we can't do that. Due to the fracking, clean coal, incineration, and even prisons are offered as economic transition solutions to the climate crisis that only continue to harm the health of people and the planet. Yeah, so the path of extracting, transporting, processing, and consuming these technologies is paved with communities riddled with cancer, reproductive, and respiratory disease, among other devastating health impacts. These false solutions turn low-income communities, communities of color, and indigenous communities into sacrifice zones. These do not move us toward just transition. Guys, here's the thing. The speaker can be thank the chamber clear, no cost to media as well. It's, it's not our rule. No, sir. It's, it's so not our rule. We need to see how you got to do it. The speaker, the speaker, you, you can't, you can't the, the speaker has ordered the chamber cleared. It would help us if you would leave. But you guys have a tough situation. Yes, we do. And it's complicated. It's complicated. It's complicated by your presence. The first step of, of mitigating this is to take away their audience. And I okay. can't leave as long as they're so, I haven't even we don't heard a position on whether it's their right to do this or not. Like, I, I'm not I understand. Them out that's not our job. I understand. But I'm asking you to cooperate with us. And not really cooperate with us, but to cooperate with the speaker's instructions. She owns this chamber. We don't. Okay? So she's asked. She's directed the chamber. She's directed the chamber to be clear. She's directed the chamber to be clear. Okay? If you refuse to clear the chamber, that's.
Extinction! 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 You can live without money, you can live without oil, but you can't live without water. So what is, what is it that we're asking for again? Just to make it, what is the really concise um, demands that we've got? We want a just transition to a stable economy for the most impacted people, right? We want a just transition to a stable economy for all the rest of us too. We want the legislature to lead, follow, or get the hell out of the way. Yes! We need a Green New Deal for Vermont, and in January there will be a resolution introduced doing just that. Good morning. Good morning. Is there any of you who wishes to be in charge? Uh, that's like hurting cats. Come on. No true. But I have to ask. We would really like you to leave. It was over a little quicker. Good morning, I'm Chief Matthew Romeo, I'm a police officer for the Capitol Police Department, Deputy Sergeant Arms from the Vermont General Assembly. Sergeant Arms, Speaker of the House of Vermont General Assembly, has declared this assembly to be in violation of the joint rules of Vermont General Assembly and the House rules. You are hereby asked to leave the Vermont State House 13 BSA 1902 prohibits remaining present at the lawful assembly. You may be arrested or subject to other police action regardless of your purpose if you remain in the House chamber <laughs> for violation of 13 BSA 1902 or other applicable statute. Following routes of dispersal are available to you. You will go out the nearest door, down the stairs, out the closest exit. Some kind of activist, sir. Uh, um, Okay. We'll see y'all in January. One of the, uh, We're here to talk to you if you want to ask us something. How long are you going to stay? Until they arrest us. You want to be arrested? Yeah. Well, I want climate justice, and if that's what it takes, then absolutely. Vermont had over 40 pieces of climate-related legislation this year, and very few of them have passed. This state is a historical major emitter towards climate change, yet we see only menial action so far. That's unacceptable. I think, if, if not now, in just a few years, people will be looking upon this and say, how dare we? How dare Vermonters do what we're doing now? We see climate change, we know the science, we know the facts, and we still refuse to act. And when what else are we supposed to do? We try to work through legislative channels. We go to protests, we go to meetings, we do everything. Sometimes you need to get arrested for the right cause. And I think history will look at us positively. What What's like your name? My name's Alec Fleischer. I'm 21 years old and I live in Middlebury, Vermont. Alec, A-L-E-C? A-L-E-C-F-L-E-I-S-C-H-E-R. Um, I live in Middlebury, Vermont. We would also like to make sure that Governor Bill Scott sticks to his promise of staying with the Climate Accord even when Trump pulled out. He has so far not really stuck to it, even though he made that promise and got a lot of positive feedback. We want to make sure that he sticks to that. And I'd just like to point out that Vermont has, you know, I keep saying this at these things, but we've made the right choices before. We were the first state in the nation to approve civil unions. You know, that was huge then, but we did it. Why can't we go ahead on this? It's so simple. We've seen multiple plans in the last year. We've got the Essex plan. We've had so many carbon pricing bills. We've had lots that aren't regressive that would actually help low-income people. Um, you know, Vermont, we lose, we lose a ridiculous amount of our income going out of the state on fuel, heating, fossil fuel in infrastructure at a time when solar panels have dropped 90% of their price. 
from what they once were, so we there's also, no excuse. We also have an incredible amount of privilege in Vermont, including money that we could easily use to make new climate bills and pass regulations, but we have not so far. You can also look at this whole room, everyone was, pretty much everyone was white and a man, and those are not the people who are being affected, so we need to start taking responsibility for the minorities. Can we get uh, your names as well? Uh, I'm Carmen Richardson Skinder. I'm 15 and live in Montpelier. And this is my brother, Asa Richardson Skinder. He lives in Middlebury. How do you spell Skinder? Uh, S K I N D E R. Would either of you like to comment? All I want to say is that we're going to see you sooner than January. Is your action today connected with Extinction Rebellion? Yes. Yeah, loosely. But I, I, I will so say... So is it therefore an international action that you're making this morning? Absolutely. We're seeing it across the globe, happening all over. And it's not just Extinction Rebellion. That's just one name. We're also very much involved with Sunrise. We're very much involved with um, local actions in Middlebury. And it's a very loosely affiliated movement. We're centered around the idea that we need to reduce emissions now, and whatever methods will bring about that goal, or non-violently bring about that goal, is what we're willing to do. I think also we'd just like to say that um, with Democrats in the session, we were, everybody expected for there to be concrete actions taken against the climate emergency, but we can obviously see that they're too afraid to do anything. And um, as more of our generation gains voting rights, you will be voted out. We're just going to help them clean up the staff. That's a good idea. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for cleaning up. Sorry, Sorry about that. <laughs> to the boards of 13 BSA 1901, command all those assembled up there to immediately disperse, which means to break up this assembly. 13 BSA 1902, Rivets remaining president of the unlawful assembly. You may be arrested for subject to other police actions. If you may remain in the area just described, regardless of your purpose, for a violation of 13 BSA section 902 or other applicable statute, following routes of dispersal are available. Out of the door, downstairs, out of the door. You have five minutes. I'm not putting up for you, by the way. I'm just helping staff. Thank you, Heidi. Appreciate it. You know what? We're cleaning up for them now, but they're going to be cleaning up for us later if we don't get our act together. You know what, what, what was the name of the bill? Uh, oh, the number S37. It, 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 it asks that companies be held liable for monitoring the impact on people's health and pollution. Are you all planning to just wait till you get arrested? I have to figure a better idea. I'm going to live stream myself getting arrested. Uh, if you want to get out your phone and do that, you can stay it. <laughs> Hello, so we just uh, disrupted the state house. We threw a bunch of things down there, um, but they, they blew up the session. And we're protesting right now because in Vermont there were over 40 pieces of climate change related legislation in the Democratic supermajority um, House and Senate, uh, yet we saw pretty much no real progress. So we're, I'm here now with Asa and Carmen, right? So we decided to stay a little longer and just hold this banner up. They arrested a few people already, and um, we have maybe three minutes, two minutes before we get arrested, so I'll be filming until then. So our sign says, see you in January. Previously declared this assembly to be a violation of the joint rules of the Vermont General Assembly. You've been previously asked to leave the premises. 13 BSA 902 prohibits remaining present at the unlawful assembly. You do not immediately leave the area just described, regardless of your person, purpose. You will be arrested or subject to other police action for violation of 13 BSA 1902 or other applicable statute. In response to any resistance, other police action could include the use of force, which may result in pain or injury. Following dispersal routes are available. Out either door, downstairs, out your nearest exit. 
inconsequential action <laughs> taking place so far. So we need the legislator to know, legislatures to know we're here, to know that climate justice is important and justice of all kinds is important. And it's no longer a time to just sit back and do nothing. We've read the IPCC reports. We've, we know it will happen. We know the science. It's just what we have to do. So I'll just talk about what we're going to do in January, because our sign says see you in January, which is when the next legislative session starts. So we have a Green New Deal for Vermont that we've currently been working on. And um, it's a piece of legislation, it's a, a resolution actually, House and Senate resolution, uh, that we've been going around Vermont trying to make it as inclusive as possible. You can message me if you want to get more involved. Um, but. Effectively, it would necessitate a swift and just transition towards renewable energy for Vermont. So a just transition isn't simply just throwing up solar panels or wind turbines. Um, it's making sure that those effective most effective communities um, face or aren't, aren't left out to dry. Yeah, and like we saw this year, Democratic supermajority again, climate change was not even on their top five priorities list. So how are we supposed to tackle this major issue in a blue state with blue everything and climate change isn't even a priority? I mean, like, I'm very confident that when we look back on this in 20 years, it'll be like, oh, you know, you got arrested, like, thank you. <laughs> and uh, also, why do we do this? I'm 21, how old are you two? <laughs> so it's scary, but it's, um, I would argue it's our civic duty, just like voting. Yeah. Well, that might be the police. I'm good, how are you? Well, when, when they arrest us, just don't talk to them. Would any reporter like to ask a question? Why are you willing to get arrested for this? It's past time to do nothing. You all haven't done anything for us, so. And also, there have been two large student movements recently this spring in the State House, and there's been a lot of media coverage, but nothing really has come from them. There's been like a lot of positive support, like this is. I'm Chief Matthew Romeo, police officer with the Capitol Police Department. You're under arrest for violation of 13 BSA 1902, in addition to charges to be determined later. Follow the instructions of uniformed officers. At this time, you will be processed, cited, and released with a court date, we hope. If you resist, this resistance will be met with reasonable force, which may result in pain or injury. Any person actively resisting will be lost in the correctional facility. So also, I walked officer all Schneider. the way from Middlebury to Montpelier. We've done what we can, and this is just our natural next step. Can I bring it back? You're going to walk to that office right there, sir. Hey. I'm Brian. Oh, yeah. Can you just turn around for me? Yeah. 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 Yeah.